I consider myself an average man. There is something that I do most people would consider out of the ordinary though. I have always been a fan of trivia books like the Guinness Book of World Records, mostly because I was interested in knowing what was the most extreme example of something. It didn't have to be extreme, just something that was the most in its own category. For as long as I can remember, I've look through record books and write down information on superlatives and are there other people who do this? I'd really like to know. I have a job folding silverware in a rehabilitation center. The best part of it is probably you how you get to have free lunch there. We rarely have pizza, so when I saw it show up on the menu tomorrow I was quite delighted. On that day, I went to my workplace and noticed something strange. For whatever reason, there was no pepperoni on my own, on any of the pizzas. You don't have to be a true guy to know what the most popular to pizza topping is. So I asked my boss where, is it, where it was, and he didn't know what pepperoni even was. I asked other people around the workplace, but no one knew. It wasn't some elaborate prank, it wasn't April Fool's Day, I decided to simply ignore it and enjoy my pizza. Every day my neighbor goes by my house walking his dog right before I head off for work. He had a nice Labrador Retriever, which I recognized as the most popular dog breed in the world. So the day after the strange pepperoni incident, I noticed he didn't come by. After work I went to his house and asked if there was something wrong with his dog. He said he had no dog. Well, he knew what dogs were, but he never heard of a Labrador Retriever. It was at this point that I was really weirded out, but I had no idea what was going on, so I figured I'd just forget it. The third day, I went over to Wikipedia's list of unusual articles. It really is a great and funny place to look up trivia. The last time I checked, the longest biography they had there was of a man named William McGonagall. He was reported as the worst poet in history, so I looked over. But I didn't see him listed under the literature section. I then searched for him on Wikipedia, but nothing turned up. I then used Google and nothing on him was there either. I knew there was no way that this could be a coincidence. I then googled pepperoni and Labrador Retriever and got nothing. It was as if these things never existed. From then on, every single day of my life I had noticed the dearest appearances of some kind of superlative. Be it the strange, most common, most popular, one day I went to look for Oreos, the most popular cookie in the world, in the, my grocery store. Not only were they, were they not there, but the store actu had actually shrunk. The shelves were slightly smaller as if the place holding the cookies had never existed. I figured the best thing to do would be to, sim to simply live my life the way I could. After all, these weren't things I needed. But it got worse. The worst part is, was when my entire country of Spain disappeared in one day. I even calculated the measurements on the globe and realized the earth had actually itself shrunk as if its land masses never existed. More important places started disappearing like the Caspian Sea, the largest lake, the, and entire cities like Atlanta, the busiest airport in the world. I've managed to, I have still managed to live my life as best I can. Working at my job and getting paid, I've started to realize what's going on here. I couldn't think of anyone else who knew these superlatives like I did. When I typed them down, even after they disappeared in real life, they remain on my computer. It won't be long until the elements start disappearing. You know what the, that means. 
oxygen will cease to exist and we shall all die. I can only hope that day never happens. That's why I have writ I writ wrote this. I'm asking and begging everybody to, who reads this to think of, of as many superlatives. Hell, not even that, just anything you can think of that I can record. That is my purpose, to be the sole person to remember what made our world so unique. But I, I don't know why this is happening, but I believe this is my destiny to inform others about my situation. They say you never know how valuable something or someone is until they're gone. That's what I heard learned. That is true loss.